Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Hearthstone. Without wasting any time, we're going to jump right in. I'm going to do a bit more of the deck of death today, I think. Since you've seen how the deck was made up in the last video, and if you haven't, go and watch that one. It, I thought, no point wasting time beating around the bush. I promise you an extra game, courtesy of the cock up last time. Hopefully that won't happen again now. We shall have to wait and see. Okay, worthy opponent. Jolly good. I feel like it's going to be a warrior. Alright, I've lost my gift, apparently. That's a shame, but not the end of the world. Hmm, I wonder which card I'm going to throw here. We'll lose Kel'Thuzad. I will actually, I will throw the lightning bolt as well. I'll keep the earth shock and the zombie chow. There we go. Oh my lord! This opening hand, I'm gonna have double zombie chow if I choose. And I think I just might. There we go. That, that is a fucking scary opening. I am pretty much guaranteed control of the board in the early game now. That is outstanding. Wow. He's probably looking at just going, um, fuck. Because even if he has wrath, he can only kill one of them, and that uses up one of his wraths. And he doesn't get the benefit of the death rattle then, so that's pretty great. Look at him, he doesn't know what to do, does he? There's nothing he can do, tee hee hee. That's right, hit me in the face. Hit me in the face, I'm not scared of you. Totem or Loot Hoarder? I could Loot Hoarder for extra damage, but I think I'm actually going to Totem at this stage to help me maintain cards. Because the Loot Hoarder I can draw a card with later when I really need one, but right now I'd rather keep up some... If I can Totem to get the value out of that each turn, it saves me playing a card, but I still get a minion on the board. Not a very strong minion, of course, but a minion nonetheless. So it'll help me recoup my cards, as it were. And also if you play something that dies to 2 damage from Earthshock that's convenient, then... Well, hey, we got two damage earth shock. Now we just have to wait and see what he plays. Okay, he's still got nothing. Okay, that's fine with me. Ooh, Reverend, uh, don't want him. Don't want him with two zombie chows. We're going to totem again. Yes, healing totem, exactly what I wanted. Because it gives us... Uh, Heals up the Wrath of Air Totem, which means he can't just now clear that, which means he's looking at this board like, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Probably anyway. Um, next turn, I could play Baron Rivendare, but I won't, because I do not want Baron Rivendare with two zombies. Actually, <clears throat> looking at this, when they die, they're going to heal him back to full health anyway at present, so they may as well... doesn't make a difference if they heal him for five or ten apiece, because mm. he'll be healed up to full anyway. That's assuming he plays something like a Yeti that they trade into. I hope he doesn't play a Yeti, actually, because I can't kill that this turn and play Rivendare at the same time. Granted, there's not much, there's nothing else for Rivendare to buff, actually, so it doesn't really matter. I got a very strong early game with those two zombie chows, and I've got a pretty good mid game. I've got an Abomination and Cairn in there, and Rivendare, but these couple of turns seem to be rather slow. It doesn't help that he's taking forever. Come along now, Mr. Druid, Mr. Zen. He obviously can't clear it, because he would have done already. So he's looking at this, most likely thinking, which of these is the biggest target? Okay, so he's clawing up. So he's going to kill one of the zombie chow. I'm absolutely fine with that. Because I would say they did their job and kept the board and controlled the board, but there was nothing to control the board against. So technically they didn't, but we'll take it all the same. Um... Again, same issue. I'm going to play Rivendare just because he will die sooner or later, but it won't be before I get this guy down to below. I expect I expect my zombie child will die in the next couple of turns, so it wouldn't make much difference how much he heals anyway. And then next turn I can Sludge Belcher or Abomination. I'm thinking Sludge Belcher because Abomination kills half my freaking board. Now, does he have a Moonfire or... No, Moonfire is zero cost, isn't it? Does he have... Um, Starfall is the five cost one? Yeah. Starfall, deal five mat damage to a card. Uh, deal five damage, actually. It's not just to minions, it's to players as well. Deal five damage or deal two damage to all enemy minions. He didn't. He had an Azure Drake. Okay. That's cool. We cool. Um, I'm actually tempted now to trade this in so that, you know, it gets out of the way. And I might actually Earthshock. 
Though that does leave me... I could Earthshock, Loot Hoarder, and Totem. I think I will actually do that, just because... I don't want him to have the spell damage, because then he can clear very effectively. And that way, it doesn't matter that he gets healed for 10. Because if he doesn't, he actually gets healed for 2. So I'm fine with that. So I'll throw out Loot Hoarder. We'll summon another Totem. Hopefully a Taunt. Okay, 1-1, one, one, whatever. That's pretty shit. But never mind, never mind. Now my hope is that I can trade off the Loot Hoarder with Baron Rivendell still out. I'm going to be throwing Cairn out as well next turn. To hell with the Sludge Belcher. We don't need your kind around here, Sludge Belcher. No, sir. Don't you and all your sludginess. What to do? What to do indeed, Mr. Zen. What to do indeed. I'm going to light a fire. I'm getting cold. There we go. Lovely. <sighs> it's funny because it looks like I have... It's not funny. I don't know why I said it's funny. It looks like I have a fairly strong board, but I don't. It's an incredibly weak board. It's just numerous. There's five things on it against his zero. That's why it looks okay. But it's actually not very. Oh, come on. You can't have that many options. You have eight cards on turn six. Actually, that's quite a few potential options, but take one of them. There's a star pick. Okay, that's fine, because it does trigger off two cards if Rivendell survives. Ooh, hello, Fugin. Another abomination, lovely. Cool, that's fine. We'll throw out Ken. See, that's how you take a turn, Zen. You do it really fast. Because you already plan ahead, you see. I knew exactly what I was doing. You apparently didn't. So now, in the event that he kills my 4-5, that's actually incredibly good for me. Because I will obviously then get two 4-5s out of the bargain. So I'd like him to play something that dies to 4 damage and does 5 damage. Because then I will just get two 4-5s out of it. It'll be lovely. Or I'm happy if he doesn't, of course. If you play something Tre Ken kills and then doesn't die to, I'm cool with that as well. Of course, he'll have to play something. Next turn, I will probably Fugan or Sludge Belcher if I need to protect Rivendare. Because... Ah, here we go. Something interesting at last. Who does he kill, though? Riven Rivendare or Ken? Obviously, he kills Rivendare. That's, that's a really stupid question. He does that. He hits Rivendare. He hits Rivendare. That's the only play available to him here, unless he's got another card to hide. He's not going to kill Ken. That would be absolutely ridiculous. Because then I'd get two, four, fives, and he'd take three damage to the face. And trade out his minion. Yeah, there we go. That's the much better play. Okay, so... I don't really want to have Cairn take the four damage to... Oh, hello. I don't really want to have Cairn take the four damage to that. So, I'm actually going to lightning bolt it. Because this way, Cairn can stay alive easier. And I might draw uh, Reincarnate or something like that. So that would be very helpful. So now do I play Fugan? Do I play Sludge Belcher? There's no need to play Abomination. I'll play Fugan just because it's an even bigger threat. Well, no, it's a 4-7. So it doesn't summon enough for another 4-5, I suppose. I'm not sure who I would class as the biggest threat out of that. If I'd played Stalag as well as Fugan, if they both been out, then I'd say Fugan would be a bigger threat. But he doesn't know I've got Stalag in my hand. Unless he's spying on me somehow, but I don't think he is. I have five cards to his eight plus two of mine on the board. What does he have to counter my four five and my four seven? I'd wager not much, because the four five is hard enough to remove without even without it summoning another four five. Four seven is very difficult to remove. Unless he has naturalized or something. Although he's drawing three cards. He's pretty high now, he's at ten. If he can't play one, he's gonna burn one. I expect he can play one, though. Ten cards with three mana to play, he's going to have some. Oh, hello! This just became very interesting. And now it's not. Sorry. Oh. I feel dreadful. There we go. I'm doing that. 
if only I hadn't used the lightning bolt last turn, I could have played any of my other minions, but never mind. I went for that. It's, it's a bit slower, but it's a bit safer, I think. Rather than throwing out another five cost and trading two in. And also, actually, the 1-1 one, one totem, getting that there, that's really good for me, assuming he doesn't kill it with his hero power. Because that means I can kill off the frog easily without having to throw either of my four damage guys in there. So that is actually very convenient. Come on, Zen, this game's gone on for nearly ten minutes now. We're only at nine friggin' mana. You're at nine mana, I'm at eight. You move on with your turns, boy. Ah, there we are. Now the situation has become somewhat more difficult. You don't actually often see druids running iron butt protectors these days. Interesting. Is he going to kill the 1 1? Yes. He obviously looked the same as I did, thought I could trade that easily. Okay. Options. Trade them both into the 8 8. That's going to kind of suck. I'm left with a 4 5. Tap, hope to get a spell power totem, lightning storm, hope for four damage, run Cairn in. That's a dreadful plan. Yeah, why am I so tempted to do it? Oh dear. Um, no, that's awful. I'm very wary of throwing Stalag out without being able to immediately combo him with the reincarnate because... Not reincarnate. Um, what? No, yeah, reincarnate. Because I'm very concerned about him silencing him. I think we have to trade them both in. I think that's probably... I still get a 4-5 out of it. Uh, and I will throw out an abomination. Just because it can clear those two nice and easily. And we'll also throw out the Nerubian Egg. Because it is of course triggered by the abomination. Oh bloody hell I did get a spell power. Never mind. Never mind. It was only a 50% 50 ch 50 chance that I would get 4 damage with a lightning storm. And this is a good board. This is a good board. My If my Abomination blows up, it takes out my spell power, but it also gives me another 4-4. Four, four. Puts Ken down to a 4-3. I haven't got anything to really be afraid of at this point. Though I would really like to draw an Incarnate. When I said Ken, I meant Bane. Not an Incarnate. I want to draw a Reincarnate. God, I'm getting everything's names wrong. Come on, Zen. <sighs> Do you have something? Do you have anything to face this board? I'm going to guess that you do not. Just looking at my hand and trying to decide what my play will be next turn. Because I can play any combination of like this one and this one, or this one and this one, or this one and this one. I might actually throw Stalag out without the Reincarnate. Because it's not the same as Fugan, because Stalag dies so very easily. He's only got four health, and in this case, that's actually a bonus because I wanted to die. No okay, so he just gave me the. What was your plan exactly, <laughs> Zen? What the hell was your plan? Okay, there we go. That's You're now going to kill him with his hero power. Kind of suck, but it's not a huge problem because I still take three damage. Or is he going to do nothing? Oh, a swipe! Yow! Well, that hurt. Oh well, never mind. Might not have been the smartest move to put a taunt in front of Stalag when I actually want Stalag to die. But hey ho, if he silences Stalag, oh dear. If he doesn't, woohoo, basically. But even if he does, it's still going to do seven damage to something. Keep the grove? Yep, yeah, there we go. That's what I was afraid of. I shouldn't have gotten greedy. I should have played the abomination. But then I'd have two taunts doing barely anything and it just didn't seem right. Actually, a reincarnate could still work. It would just... I'd have to reincarnate and then trade it. Which wouldn't work. Oh, okay. Well, that's gone. He, he, he's probably looking at it and he knows what I'm thinking. So he's like, no, he's not having that chance. Okay, this game doesn't... It no longer looks as though I'm a dead cert for winning. I think partly because my concentration has been thrown by how fucking slow he has been taking his turns. I mean, my God, man. You realize we're busy over here? Uh, is that worth lightning bolt? Not really. What we do. If 
I hit it, he hits it, it dies. Yeah, I'm just going to put it in there. Because so I've still got the abomination regardless. So. I'm a bit of a pickle here now, though, because he's got a lot more cards than me. He is on lower health than me, admittedly. I might be able to hit him in the face with this lightning bolt. So now it just comes down to what does he have in hand? How many of my things can he clear? Bearing in mind, two of them, when they die, summon something else. What? So that is admittedly quite helpful. He's used one Keeper of the Grove. That's the chappy out on the board. He's used both his Starfalls. We've seen one Mountain Giant, one Ironbark Protector. Mm. He really could have all sorts of things in here. Another Ironbark Protector would rather ruin my day, I, I must admit. But Okay. So we can hit that. That's fine. He's also used one swipe. If he were to swipe my abomination, that would really fucking hurt me. That would be really bad, so I sincerely hope he doesn't have another swipe. If he doesn't have another swipe, I've won. Unless, unless he throws out an iron bar for what have you. Ah, or heals himself, of course. Yes, I forgot about healing touch. That's a thing that exists. Is that right? That's fucking right. Okay, then. I, I take back my previous statement about winning. Set up another toss each other, I think. Could have used a lightning bolt there, but the abomination would have died anyway, so it didn't make much sense. Okay. I'm still in a good position. He does have two more cards than me, but I have three things on the board. He has three more cards than me, rather. But I have three things on the board. Um... So I got seven damage on the board. If we assume he kills my two one, I have five, but he's taken two damage. Well, one damage because he have armored up. And I'll have drawn a card. So I'm in a pretty good position. Because that four four is gonna be a pain for him. I know that board is quite open to swipe, but obviously he doesn't have it. Oh! You'd have been really useful earlier. God fucking damn it, this guy! This fucking guy. There we go. It's not ideal, but it'll have to do. Now, my guess would be that he's probably going to priority target Sylvanas. And that would definitely be the best move. Because while the Undertaker might be tempting to try and take down, because it's got... At first glance, you think, oh, it's just going to get bigger and stronger. That's true, but... I'm so late in the game, I've played most of my goddamn minions. So it's fairly unlikely it's going to get much bigger and stronger. I've only got one card in hand. And he's probably calculated that it is not a creature card. I would have played it. And he'd be right. So Drake. Okie dokie. I think what else I've got in this deck that would be useful here. Kel'Thuzad would be nice. It wouldn't do a lot, but it'd be nice to have. Um, Cairn's already been. Sylvanas is on the board. I took Thalnas out. He'd be useless here anyway. Both of my um, loot hordes have gone. I've got another Undertaker in here somewhere. Both my zombie chairs are gone. Hmm. The question here, does he hit the 1-1 one, one or does he hit Sylvanas? He hits the 1-1, one, one. okay. That's okay, that doesn't really make a difference to me. Does he have another card? Oh wow, he did. He did have another card, smarmy git. Hey, the man himself. Lovely. Um, I wonder if I... If this died with Kel'Thuzada, would he resummon it as it is or as a 1-2? Probably as a one two. Minions, servants, soldiers of the cold dark, obey the call of Kel Ruzad. I let him I, I I just love hearing that it's such a good entry. 
It's just so cool, so I wanted to hear him say it again. Oh yeah, he's... Oh, I'm overloaded by him, that's why. There we are. Now, assuming he can't kill Kel'Thuzad, whoopsie daisy, you're in trouble, mister. <laughs> Especially if you try and kill Sylvanas. I want him to play another Iron Butt Protector now, I want him to play all kinds of big shit. Because I run Sylvanas in, boom, it dies, with possibly a little help. And then Kel'Thuzad is just like, hey, Sylvanas, come on back. It'll be a great time. Now all that remains is to see what in those five cards he has that will be beneficial. I still can't kill him yet, which is a shame. But Kel'Thuzad is a bit of a game turner on its header. It's kind of tricky. This game's been going on about 20 sodding minutes. I promise you guys an extra game. This is... We're never going to get an extra game done at this rate. Come on, man. I've got I've got times to keep. It's timekeeping, etc. I have places to be, other people to beat or lose to. But we'll say beat because it sounds better. I have other people... Well, it doesn't. It implies I'm punching them. Other people to defeat. Yes, that's much better. Vanquish. That sounds far more heroic than just beat. I have other people to vanquish. Get a move on. Hurry up and be vanquished. I'm quite sure he's doing it deliberately. Hello. No. No, Kelthazard. Oh no. Yes, yes, Kelthaz. Oh wait. Do I do it to Kelthazard or do I do it to Sylvanas? Huh. Crap. If I do it to Sylvanas, I could get the five ten. Or I could get the 2-4. And then I'd have Sylvanas back and whenever I steal. If I do it to Kel'Thuzad, I get Sylvanas back anyway. Yeah, that's not even a... We'll do it to... We'll do it to Kel'Thuzad. I'd like to attack with him first, but there's no point. I would like to get take this, which is why I'm not worried about weakening it. Come on. If I don't take it, I'm fucked. Yes! Thank you! Let's see you again, Sylvanas. No oh my god, it resummoned Kel'Thuzad! I have double Kel'Thuzad! I had no idea that could happen! Oh my god! Oh, he's so fucked! Wow, there you are, we've all just learned something. If Kel'Thuzad dies on a turn from reincarnate, he will summon himself back. Somehow. Oh my god, this board. This board is insane. Oh my god. Double. Ke That's a thought, actually. If you faceless. If you played Kel'Thuzad and faceless manipulated him next turn, you'd have two Kel'Thuzads. You'd be almost unstoppable. They'd need something like Twisting Nether or Brawl or. Really? Really? That's what you copied? I can see. Damn right you do. See you in hell, Zen. I'm not even going to well play you because you took so long with your damn turns. Oh, man. That double kill. <laughs> I'm so happy about that. That's brilliant. Let's do it again. Oh, I had no idea that... Would, had I known that, I wouldn't have spent so long deliberating whether to do it to Kel'Thuzad or Sylvanas. I would have just been like, you're fucking Kel'Thuzad. Although, presumably it would have worked the same with Sylvanas. And I would have got her back from... Um, Reincarnating her, and then Kel'Thuzad would have summoned another one of her, and I would have stolen a minion, so I'd have had two so far. Holy shit, Kel'Thuzad is even better than I thought, when coupled with Reincarnate. My god, the combos this deck can achieve have just increased. And it's a fairly combo-reliant deck as it is, but oh my god, that's brilliant. Right, a mage. I'm going to be absolutely obliterated this game, I'd wager. I don't want to start with any of these. Might be worth keeping the Lightning Bolt in case she plays... A mana worm, actually. I don't want to start with either of those. There we are, zombie chat. That's what I was after. Now, it's very possible that I'll throw that out and she'll frostbolt it on turn two or something, which I am completely okay with, because it will then take one of her frostbolts. Oh. And we've got an ancestral spirit in the hand from the get go. Nice. <clears throat> we get something good. To use with that, it'll be just great.
What do you have, Miss Mage? Please coin Frostbolt or something. That would be so fun for me. Although I'd rather he didn't die, actually, so maybe don't do that. We'll do something else. She had something in mind. I wonder what it was. Okay, just decided against it. What's coming now, I wonder? Now while it looks good that I have Cairn Bloodhoof and an Ancestral Spirit in my hand, it's actually not, because Cairn will just be pretty much immediately polymorphed, especially if I put... He, he won't last long enough for me to put Ancestral Spirit on him. Unless he doesn't have polymorph, of course, but I can't... By turn 6 and then extension turn 7 when I put the Ancestral Spirit on, I can't rely on her not having polymorph, especially with the number of cards she has in her deck. In her deck? In her hand. We've both got the same cards in our deck. Well, presumably actually I've got one more. Yeah, there we go. What to do? What to do? What to do indeed, madam. What to do indeed. Two, two, three is on the board. It's a shame I couldn't get an Undertaker out turn one, actually. That would have been nice. Yep, there's the Frostbolt. It's fine, I saw that coming. I'm glad you Frostbolted him rather than this guy. This time we just do that. Boom. And I'll be overloaded down to four next turn, which is not great, but I don't have any fucking options for turn five either, so it doesn't make much difference currently. Well, I do have quite a lot of five cost minions in the deck, so I might end up drawing one of those. I'm just going to scooch my chair forward slightly. There we go. Ah. Oh. I see. Hmm. Well, I'm loath to waste an earth shock on this guy, but I really need to try and keep that board control and certainly to keep this guy off of me until I can get Ken out to fight it. I just pray she doesn't have a polymorph, because right now, I got nothing. I'm going to throw him out rather than a totem because she's a mage, she's probably got board clear. Now, my only hope of stopping that Yeti is Ken, and that depends on her not playing something horrible this turn. Let's draw a hex, of course, but I don't really want to hex a yeti. Oh, and she could have all kinds of other things in there. Well, the lightning bolt would do quite nicely, actually. Yeah, that would actually be pretty good. So I lightning bolt it, trade the golem in, then I'll play Cairn on turn 7. Oh, dear. Please be something good. Zombie. You're not something good. Well, <clears throat> this is going to be very, very uncomfortable. Oh, don't tell me she's top deck to polymorph. God damn it. I'd take a fireball over a polymorph on Cairn any day, but of course, it's fairly obvious why for both me and the opponent, so she's not going to fall for that. Son of a bitch. There's my lightning bolt. I'm hitting that because it has more health. This dies slightly easier. Admittedly not easy enough for my liking. All I've got are a bunch of small tiddlies and fucking Kel'Thuzad. And I'm very concerned she may have another polymorph, but all the same, next turn, unless I draw something better, it will probably be Kel'Thuzad. No, it won't because I'll be overloaded down to seven. Cock. That's awkward. Oh, here comes Flame Strike. Damn, Kel'Thuzad would be a good anti Flame Strike measure. Ah, Abomination, you'll do. We'll play that just in case. Just in case what, Tom? In case it somehow doesn't die to the to the fucking Abomination? There's no point in not playing it, but there's no point in playing it either, so. Well, maybe there is if she were to silence my abomination, for example, or polymorph it, but she won't polymorph my abomination. She's seen I have Ken in here, she knows I'm the big leagues. What to do? What 
to do. What to do indeed. Let the pain speak to me. Might have been a better idea to ancestral spirit that thing actually. Oh boy! Ah, excellent. That would be so useful if I had anything. These, these are ideal in certain situations. They're, they're like the ultimate combo for Ken or. Sylvanas, but they're not gonna fucking work here. If I drew Sylvanas, whoop de doo da That'd be pretty swell, but it's very unlikely I will. How many cards have I got left? I have a one in eighteen chance of drawing Sylvanas next turn. Oh balls. Don't polymorph it, please don't polymorph it. Oh shit. That also, please don't do that. Oh, I was going to do something really stupid. I was going to Ancestral Spirit and then reincarnate him and then I'd have like a billion of him. And they'd just all keep bringing each other back and it would be great. Um, I'm dead. Yeah. Well played. You win this Damn it. That's a shame. I called it at the start of the game though. I said I was going to lose to this mage. Was it a gut feeling? Was it the fact that mages are really good at removing things? Maybe. Maybe a bit of both. Who cares? Let's keep going. Hopefully this will be against a class that has a bit less removal. And hopefully I'll get a fucking Undertaker to play on turn one this time. Undertaker zombie chow, sort of deal. Undertaker double zombie chow is insanely good. I'd love to have that. Ah. Nothing but the fevered dream of a madman. A priest? No, okay, my gift is well and truly done. Oh, this is the Naxxramas board. I didn't think we could actually play this in the normal game. I thought it was only for Naxxramas. Oh, cool. They must have put that in then. How oh, very nice. Come on, Undertaker. Yes. Undertaker coin zombie chow. Actually, and that's that's not going to die to a cleave either, so that's really nice. Damn. I mean, it's exactly the same effect on paper as throwing out two zombie chows, except that one of them just gets stronger rather than healing him when it dies. So, it's better. Oh, don't you take forever with your turns as well. Bring out your death. The only downside to this amazing opening play is that I don't have anything to follow it up with. I've got nothing until turn four. But I hope to draw into something. Ah, yes, the fiery war axe. Probably should have thought of that. Oh well, no matter. They did what they were meant to do. Come on, Taunt Totem. Damn it. Because so now he just kills that and heals himself up. And at the cost of what? A fiery war axe? Pfft. Those things were a dime a dozen at the war axe shop. I guess. I don't. I've not actually played WoW. I don't know where anywhere is. So. I haven't seen a Warsong Commander played in a very long time. Might Lightning Bolt her. I don't like the idea of him giving something charge, to be quite honest. Now that's kind of bugging me for next turn. There may be a rumble of thunder in a moment. I, I can hear it, I don't think the microphone can. I just saw a flash and I was like, oh, am I having a seizure? Is the... Nope, there it is. I was like, am I having a seizure? Is something wrong with the screen? And I realized, no, it's lightning outside. <laughs> quite a storm going at the moment. Yeah, see, this was the issue with lightning bolting, because I couldn't play Rivendell this turn. I couldn't play anything this turn, really. But next turn, oh, next turn we have something quite different. I think I might play Fugan. Unless he's packing silence in the form of an Iron Beak Owl or a Spellbreaker, I don't think he's going to have any silence. Well, he can't have any silence, actually, apart from those two. Unless I'm forgetting one. Not counting the Wailing Soul, of course. What so, now? 
I might actually be okay to play Fugan and then Stalag. That might be viable. If I'm really, really lucky, I might be able to test out the Baron Rivendare Does he summon them twice deal. Because, my God, I'd like to see that. By them, I mean um, Thaddeus, of course. Right, well, it, it's got to be Fugan. Boom. Trade that out. Come on, Fugan, do your thing. Be all threatening and such. I, I don't really know what your thing actually is, to be perfectly honest. Interesting. Ah, double interesting. No, my healing totem. No, I wanted him. I'm not going to use either of these ancestral spirits on Fugan. Yeah, 4 7 is nice to have, but. He's not going to do very much, is he? So let's throw out Stalag. And this is a case where having all of this damage from him. This area damage from him is actually really fucking useful for me. Because I want them both to die. Don't have a silence, please. That's not a silence. <laughs> oh, he did it! Oh, but he might have execute, actually, and he's going to execute Thaddeus. Yep. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Damn, damn, double damn. I didn't get to test out with uh, Rivendare either. Oh well, never mind. He had to expend quite a few cards to actually do that, so I'm okay. And they're by no means the best combo in this deck. I wasn't even expecting it to work, so I'm actually okay with this situation. I have a lot of cards in my hand that are of no immediate use. Actually, none of the cards in my hand are of immediate use. I hope I draw a good minion. Rivendell's fine, but there's not much on the board for him to work with. Oh! My, my. How interesting. I was just thinking, do I hex him? But I could just Earthshock him. It's still a 4-6, actually, so that's kind of nasty. But, yeah, you know what? Let's do this. Want to tap for additional damage on this, but I won't because I'm just gonna do... I'm gonna use this on him. So that's that. Run him in. And then that should give me three taunts. Oh lord! Or four taunts? Maybe? Oh yeah. No, that doesn't make any fucking sense. What the... Okay. How did that happen? <laughs> I get where these two guys came- Oh my god, he triggers this death rattle twice. That's how that happened. Damn, I didn't realize that. <laughs> That's tremendous fun. I am surprisingly tempted to hex this guy to get him out of the way. I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm actually going to, because I, I want him out of the way. <laughs> I'm gonna run him in so he's still got five health. Look at all of the taunts! See my taunts in despair. I, I won't throw out the loot hoarder yet. Um, I may as well just hurt him. Behold the mighty wall of sludge! Pass it if you dare! Oh, these are slimes. His deck is basically like my deck, but a warrior and nothing like it. Oh, oh wow. I hope he doesn't have a whirlwind. Might have just got a whirlwind. Okay. I don't want to trade these four guys in. Good hit him with Riven there. I think I will. Just to keep one taunt alive. that because then my healing totem will bring it back up. <clears throat> there we are. So lots of little things. Very little actual damage on this port. But I'm hoping I'll be able to get two cards out of the loot hoarder at least. Depends on what he's got. Interesting. Pass me that light 
just, he's got a good amount of card draw in this deck, actually. Two cards ahead of me. Oh, hello. It's very interesting. Okay, that's fine, because I'll run him in, definitely. Hey, give me that! Yeah, I think you can. Prepare to resummon him. And I'm not going to hit that with Rivendare. I'm actually going to Lightning Bolt. Do I Lightning Bolt either of these guys? I mean, do I want to? I don't want them to kill Riv. No, I will. I will lightning bolt that guy, that gal, because I don't want her to kill Riven there. Because I want Cairn to be able to summon a billion Banes. I definitely don't want that. Well, he'd summon two Banes and then resummon himself, so. He resummoned himself twice, in fact! Holy crap. Please don't have silence now. Oh. Oh, here comes a whirlwind. Or an execute. Ow. Oh well, this wasn't something bigger. No whirlwind at least. Well hey, I can take that. What are you gonna do? Train them both into Ken? A viable option. Damn it. Well that trading them both into Ken just makes the situation worse. Um Okay. Can I do this? I can't- I actually want to kill off my own can this turn so that he resummons and summons Bane, but I actually can't do that. So, what I can do, of course, is hit that, and I absolutely will. Before it gets any fucking bigger. I could play some Abominations, but they kill... Well, I'm okay with them killing that. They would summon another can. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Because that trades into that. It will kill off Cairn, admittedly, but he'll resummon and I'll get Bane as well. And it kills off my healing totem, which has been a real good player this turn, this game. But it does give me 4-4 four, four and 2 four, fives, basically. There we go. That's what I was after. That's what we are talking about. Goodbye, my 4-4. Four, four. Nope! Hello, my face! I'm not going to play the other Abomination. <clears throat> going to keep him in hand till I need him. And another healing totem. That's really a good totem for me to have there. I think you're dead, Mr. Mr. Warrior. I have one damage over lethal on you. Question is, what are you going to do about it? Nothing. You will do nothing. Oh, I forgot about his armor. Balls. <clears throat> what a stupid thing to do. Oh well. Oh well. We'll take it easy. <clears throat> we'll take it nice and easy. We won't. We won't be greedy here. We'll play it safe. Very safe. I mean, he's got two cards, but he's still gonna be fucked. Brawl would kind of suck for me. If he pulled Brawl or Deathwing, Deathwing would also suck. Lower Thab, I don't give a flying fuck about. Nor charge. Goodbye, Mythic Man. Sorry, Mythic Man. Not very fun. There we are. Two out of three wins so far. Let's do another, shall we? That went okay, I think. Dex proving itself surprisingly versatile after I made those changes. Definitely a lot better than the first iteration where I won literally nothing. So I'm pleased about that at least. Another worthy opponent. Brawl versus Garrosh. Victory or death for Doomhammer. Hmm. Not really a good opening here. I'll keep the loot holder. Just ow. That's really not good. I hate getting openings like this because you know the game is just gonna suck. Oh, whoop de fucking dude. This deck has so many one cost fucking minions, it, it makes me really sad when I can't play them. Well, it has both. It has both one cost minions. 
armor made to fit. Could I shock that? Probably won't. We'll instead loot all that. I know it trades and gives him an armor, but it gives me a card, so I can still that worthwhile. Interesting. Oh, why couldn't I have had you two fucking turns ago? I can't power you up. Right, if that's the way you want to play it, then we'll do that. Knock his armor off. Next time we play the Harvest Golem, and then we can actually kill that armorsmith. Assuming nothing dreadful happens now. That would be something dreadful happening. That's less dreadful. We, we can't kill it now. But, you know, we, oh, now we can. Uh, I think, oh, if I hit it with this, I'm overloaded turn five, so I'd actually rather not do that. Could this and totem. No, this, this will survive another cleave. Should have hit the armor smith, actually, thinking about it. Well, that would have given him an extra armor. One extra armor. Would it, would it have been a problem, really? <clears throat> That's awkward. Now, I don't really want to play this and watch it just get hit by these two. That seems kind of shit. But nor do I want to earth shock this guy and waste the silence. One of my only two silences in the deck. Nor do I want to run this in, but I think I might actually just do that. Um, actually... Thaddeus can kill that, so we'll do it like this. The trick here is to keep his armor from getting too high to render his shield slams worthless. That's the part where he plays shield block. Oh, death spite. Okay. To the face? What? What are you doing? Have you been drinking? Hit it then execute. That's exactly what he did. All right, then. I'm okay with that. I'm, you know, whatever. Wasn't great, wasn't terrible. Play him, and we'll play him. Why them instead of the stud sludge belcher? Because this thing is almost guaranteed to kill that either directly or by its death, by its death rattle. So I will draw two cards, and hey, worst case scenario, he decides not to do that because he doesn't want to give me two cards. My blade be thirsty. Oh. Oh yeah, he's going to Rivendell himself. Now, this guy would be a real problem if I didn't have a lightning bolt in hand. As it stands, I laugh at him. Play him, and we'll play him. Check Rivendell. There we go. I'm not too pleased about throwing out zombie chows this late into the game, but he's still on 28 fucking health, so who gives a shit? He's on 28 health with 4 armor still, so I think we'll be okay. Admittedly, zombie chow with Riven Dare, bad idea, but again, the health doesn't really matter at this stage. Okay. Is he going to hit my sludge belcher in the face? He is going to hit my sludge belcher in the face. Interesting. I'm getting all the same cards. <laughs> I don't really want to play the other zombie chow because that is then too much potential healing. So I won't play the other zombie chow. I could reincarnate Rivendare, but I don't want to do that either. I could, I could do what I did last time and reincarnate this sludge belcher and get just loads of them. Let's do that. I should have done that before I taunted, actually. No, I still have enough. I'm gonna do that with this guy just to get <laughs> loads of fucking slugs in his life. Oh, that didn't work. I didn't have the same thing as last time. Ah, crap. Stupid Tom. Never mind. I've still got two smaller slimes and a bigger sludge, so. That's still okay. Because he's now looking at it and going, ow, oh, fuck. That's actually harder to kill. But he can kill him with that, admittedly. Which gives me two more small slimes. Whirlwind here would be rather painful. Gruel! Fucking Gruel! Oh boy. 
My kingdom for Sylvanas. Um, yipes. Huh. Well, I can earth shock him. Down to a 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, good. And then trade my entire sodding board into him. I can do that. Mm. Christ, you know, I think I might have to, actually. Or, he's not getting through these taunts anytime soon. Alright, we'll earth shock him. We'll run one taunt into him. And then we'll play Stalag. And then we start hitting his face. Tom, this is madness, I hear you cry. Yes! Yes, it is madness. But, there's a big but here. Now, we have a 7-4 behind four taunts. Not four very big taunts, but four taunts nonetheless. This is a really weird deck this guy's running. Actually, my ex is a pretty decent target for Earthshock, I think. Not, well, she's, she's an okay target for Earthshock. A decent target for Silence in general. Um, do I trade him into stuff? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And get me down to 5. I'm going to have to trade. To Earthshock. Oh, should have killed her first. Can't kill her first. Never mind. Eh, could kill her. Don't particularly want to. I'm trading up all this stuff. That was a bad move, because he can actually now kill him with Gruul and get value by not letting me get my little sludge. No, I would still get the sludge, because he would die, of course. I'm confusing myself with my own damn combos here. Well, okay then. Didn't see that one coming. He may have just handed me victory. We'll have to see. Please tell me he got I Am Murloc. Okay, he did not hand me victory, alas. Oh. God, I'm damn close to victory, though. Damn close. Um. Well, let's hit him with him first. Oh, crap. Forget about this prick. All right, let's get rid of her, then. Should have done that the other way around. Oh, hello. That could be fun. Um, yeah, right. I don't want to play him because he'll kill off my things that actually do damage, so let's at least kill off the core corner lead. Nice. And I'll throw out the other zombie chow just to give us a bit more damage on the field. He's probably in quite a spot of bother here. However, it does remain to be seen. If he has any. I can't imagine he's got anything to clear all this apart from Brawl. Damn shield block. I always forget. I always forget that he can gain more armor. I keep thinking, oh, I'm close to killing him. No, I'm not. I'm never close to killing him. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh, phew. That could have been considerably worse. What have we got here? We've got seven, eight, 10, 11, 13. Okay. Well played. Ideal. Smashy. There we go. This deck is really doing quite well now. I mean, not well, well. Not like competitive level well. I'm still in casual mode. But reasonably well. Right, let's do the bonus game. Let's do our extra game and hope that it doesn't balls up this time. So, three out of four wins this video. I'm pretty pleased with that, I have to say. 
Because when I first came up with the idea of the deck of death, I was like, ooh, that sounds like it could be fun. There's loads of death rattle cards. And it was then when I first put it together that I was like, this is full of really bad cards. This is going to end terribly. And I was right, it did. But I'm glad I made those changes with the spells. It's actually more viable now. And it doesn't have Blood Mage Thalnos in. I spent ages gathering dust to make him. But he's fucking useless in this deck. It's okay, though. I've got another deck in mind that I'll put him in. So he won't be lonely sitting by himself all the time. It is my goal to eventually use every legendary card in a silly deck of some sort. And not just like a Total Biscuit or the Legends deck. Each card will get its own deck. Apart from, you know, some of them have to share. But they'll all be used, is my eventual plan. You're probably sitting there thinking, but Tom, how in the hell are you going to use Tickmaster over Spark or insert shitty legendary here? And I'd be like, never fear, viewer. I have plans. I have plans for almost all of them at present. But of course, you could use Tinkmaster over Spark in a sort of random deck. That, that you could certainly do. The board control! That's actually a pretty good value. It's his spider actually manages to kill off my uh, zombie chow. Although, that's a two cost million to kill off a one cost million. Oh. Is she doing a rogue death rattle deck? You can probably tell I just leant forward to pay attention. What have you got? God, my hand is dreadful. I got some amazing combo cards, but nothing to combo with. Okay. Not good. Definitely not good. Sylvanas, you'd be great to combo things with. Oh, good. Excellent. Very imposing. I have nothing until turn sodding five. If she gets up good momentum on this turn and the next one, I am officially boned. Oh. Yeah, we're going to call that good momentum. Oh, Lord. Well. Ouch. Oh, for fuck's sake. Look at this. Two ancestral spirits, two reincarnates. Not what I want. He's probably sitting there like, why is his hand so big? Why isn't he playing? Oh, God. Oh, the agony. My poor sludge belt shirt is going to have the shit knocked out of him. And then what of Sylvanas? She'll die in one hit from the damn dancing swords. I can't ancestral spirit reincarnate her, which is what I'd like to do, because obviously I don't have the mana. I'd need ten mana to pull off that combo, and I'm not even going to survive to fucking six at this rate. Ah! What do we kill? Do we kill that, or do we... Oh, not kill. We could kill that. We could silence that. We could silence that. We silence that. It takes three damage off. We silence that. It takes two damage off and stops it getting any bigger. But if we silence that, we can't play him. We'll play him. Because this will actually be buff more than three damage. I'm now just hoping... Oh. That's not good. That's this some kind of death rattle slash buff deck. Weird. I like it. I might steal it. Come on, lightning storm. Come on, lightning storm, please. Please. And I'll take an abomination as well, but please, lightning storm or abomination. Come on. Come on, I've got a 4 in 22 chance of getting you. Come on, please, 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 please. Please, come on, come on, come on. Yes! No! Oh, I forgot it was 5 mana, so I can't reincarnate it. Damn it, never mind. I'll take it. Right, we're going to silence him. Because now he will die 
to the Abomination's explosion. And also he does a bit less damage. Ah, still, Abomination was still a damn good pull there. I, I would like to Ancestral Spirit reincarnate it, or at least just reincarnate it and clear most of it, but I couldn't, so never mind. Oh, that's sneaky of you. Oh, well. Bring it, bitch. You'll still have four damage on the board. Three damage on the board, plus a uh, fourth water ruby. Very, very unpleasant. And my options aren't looking too good, to be honest. I've got Sylvanas, and then fucking nothing else of use. And I've got the Undertaker. I could draw... If I'm lucky, I might draw something useful, but I can't think of what that something would be. Oh, fuck. Sylvanas. I need to draw something this turn around, definitely. Yeah. Sylvanas is no good, because I can't reincarnate her. Harvest Golem. Nope, I believe I... Wait a moment. I might be able to do something very clever here. Not what I wanted. Remove the 5-4, please. Okay. Now she's still got a 5-5. Five five. Actually, that display was exciting, but it doesn't do anything because she can still kill and kill with the dagger. Never mind. I'm dead, but maybe she doesn't realize it. That was, it was a wasted effort as well. There's no one coming back from this. Bring out your dead. That is... That is really going to hurt. Oh, that's... Yeah, okay. <clears throat> I was going to say, that's just overkill. That's beyond overkill. I was dead in so many ways. Oh, well. Well played. Bring me steel. Just get on with it. I'm not going to concede, because it's like, after the bullshit I pulled last turn, I'm actually going to... What? Did I miss something? Was I not paying close enough attention? What the hell? Undertaker, let me chow. What about that? Run that into the Undertaker. What the hell were you doing? I don't know what she was doing. Oh, fuck it, I can't win anyway. I don't think I can pull the same abomination magic twice. Oh well. The deck didn't quite complete its destiny. Never mind, not bad. Right then, I hope you've enjoyed this. Oh, it's almost exactly an hour. Oh, okay. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this further preview of the Deck of Death. Um, I'm overall rather pleased with how that went. So do join me again next time for some more Hearthstone, and I shall see you then. Bye-bye.